last year at Six Flags during the summer season, one of my best friends who I've been working with since 2014 there uh, is a sign language interpreter. And she told me that the upcoming Fright Fest, so last year's Fright Fest, there was gonna be a deaf person working with us and she was going to be one of the zombies. I started taking interest in that because I was like, I want to talk to her and know her that like, even though we're there for mostly work, she still has someone to talk to outside of it because I didn't want her to just speak to my interpreter when she's in the area and then just go home and like, let it be that. And so I started teaching myself. There's a whole bunch of online like ASL like dictionaries out there. There's a whole bunch of websites that you can look up. The main one I use is handspeak.com. That one's really accurate and that one's actual ASL. The first thing I signed to Alex, I asked, you know, like, hey, you, Alex? She's like, yeah. And I was like, oh, okay, like, nice to meet you. And she was like, oh, and like her eyes like lit up. She was like, oh my God, there's someone else who knows sign language. I kind of told her like, you know, like the main reason I knew sign language so I could like, so you could have someone to talk to. And she's like, yeah. oh, that's really cool. Like, thanks. And she's like, really came the long run because we're like best friends now. I haven't even been learning it for a full year and I've already fallen in love with it more than I have with any other language. So I was like, this is exactly what I'm gonna do. And so I'm currently trying to go out to California and go to school there and start an interpreting business.